riding horses if they'd let me sleep outside at night and my... Hey everybody, this is Brian of Bell Botanicals and today we're going to be making some goat's milk soap. So we're going to take you through that process, go through some of the tools, some of the techniques, and hopefully end up with a good bar because i got a big order to fill tomorrow. So uh, let's get started. Alright, let's go through some stuff here. So we've got our one of our pots, which is going to be where we mix and heat our oils. And over here, uh, we've got our safety goggles. Nothing more important than safety. Notice these are the kind that uh, that will seal against your face. You don't want a lye mixture getting back behind there and ruining your eyesight. Uh, for That's for cutting. That'll be a little bit later. Of course, we got our lye over here. Uh, this is one of our molds. Uh, and tonight we'll be doing a lavender oatmeal mix. So what we've got here is a lavender and then the, uh, the oatmeal that I just ran through a coffee blender or a coffee grinder. Of course we got our stick mixer and, and of course uh, our oils. We're going to use in the uh, safflower oil, olive oil, uh, palm oil, and coconut oil for this. And so um, what I've got over here, this is our goat's milk. It's already chilling in this water bath, so it's it's getting pretty cool. And then over here, I've got some goat's milk that I heated up, and I mixed in sugar and salt with it. So because if you mix in the sugar and the salt in here when you're doing the lye, it tends to clump up and make a big mess. <laughs> All right, so the uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix the lye with the goat's milk. And we do that because it takes a long time to do. Um, we can only do it in little bitty portions. So what we do is we go over here and get my get the lie going. And we'll take this and just grab about a teaspoon or so. And we'll sprinkle it into the goat's milk. probably do three or four teaspoons at a time and the reason we take our time with this is that the um, when you combine lye with the milk it's going to heat up and if we put too much lye in there it's going to heat up to the point that it burns the milk and then you got this nasty skanky smelling bar which uh, which you don't want so we're going to let that sit for a little bit and in the meantime, we're going to come over here, and we're going to do uh, we're going to mix up some of our oils. So I'll take our oil pot, we'll put it on the scale. Of course, I got my recipe up here, and we'll start with the uh, safflower oil, which you guys can't see, but there, but that's uh, that's 15 ounces of that. So what we'll do is we'll take our scale, turn it on. This is a 10 pound. A postage scale, so it's got a tear function on it, which is really important. All right, so we'll come over here and take our sap flour. Uh, make sure that this is really kind of tough to do with one hand. Make sure we got that going. And our olive oil here. That's all olive oil, and this stuff over here will be scooping out. So we're all good there. All right. So first things first, we're gonna put uh, 15 ounces of safflower oil into this thing. So we'll just take our bottle, dump it in there. That's about two something. We'll take this bottle here. Is it four, five? When it gets up here towards the end of where you're going, you want to slow down a little bit. One more ounce. Ooh, just a smidgen more. There we go. Alright, so we're going to do the same with the rest of these oils. We'll take our olive oil next, and that's going to be one pound 
and 11 ounces. So that's this guy over here. Now we come over here and we'll go ahead and re-tear the scale. So we'll set it back to zero. And that allows us to, to add our oils um, according to our recipe a lot easier. So it's one pound, 11 ounces. Now we may not have enough in this one bottle, which is why I got the other one out. Ooh, we may just have just enough there. Yeah, I think we will. Just enough. Look at that. Mad skills. Mad skills. Alright, so now we got our safflower and our olive oil in here. Um, we can go back over here for a little bit. We'll put some more more lye in our milk. Just like so. Make sure you mix it around. Careful not to splash yourself with this stuff. It's pretty nasty. Just make sure we get it stirred up. You don't want it clumping in here. It'll get it'll develop hot spots and uh, you don't want that at all. That would be bad, bad, bad. She's able to burn the milk right there, and you get these curds that are really not what you're looking for. All right. All right, so we'll let that stew for a little bit. The uh, ice water bath here to keep this thing cool. Uh, as we get more lye in there, I'll have to switch that around a little more to keep it, keep it cool. All right, back to our oils. Uh, one pound eleven. So we'll go ahead and tear the scale here, and go back to our palm oil. Palm oil. We need one pound five ounces for this recipe. This is a little goopy, so we'll, we'll do it that way. Gloppy, gloppy. It's kind of nice to have the recipe just taped up to the cabinet so you can refer to it over and over again. That's about 12 ounces there. This is just regular palm oil. You can get this from any soap supplier. Uh, I'd recommend getting the organic palm oil because there's some controversy around where palm oil is sourced from. So if you get the organic... What the heck? If you get the organic... <laughs> What? If you get the organic uh, palm oil, you don't have to worry about it being, um, you know, de depleting rainforests and things like that. So it's about, about four more ounces here. You just kind of gotta, gotta play with it a little. All right, almost there. Do that. Sometimes you'll so you can see down there we got one pound four ounces. Uh, actually, should be one pound five ounces. So we got a boo boo there. It's sinking four for some reason. I'll go ahead and apologize for the condition of our kitchen. It's pretty late and uh, ah, sorry, we're over by one tenth of an ounce. we go. Now if you want to be really foo-foo, you can measure all this stuff out ahead of time in its own little separate thing, but this is the quickest way to do it is just add and tear and add and tear. Alright, so we got one point, uh, one pound five ounces in there. We're going to go back over here to the coconut oil. This is just what they call 76 degree coconut oil. This calls for, here, I'll put you back over here. Alright, this uh, coconut, one pound, 
14 ounces. Now when I say 76 degree oil, that means that supposedly it's liquid or usable 76 degrees. I think that's open to interpretation because a lot of times this stuff is just not not where I need it to be. This is exceedingly painful to do with one hand here. I'm going to go ahead stop the video and we'll pick up in just a sec after I get that stuff out of there. Alright, so stay tuned.